David Eagleman, Incognito, The Secret Lives of the Brain Embark on a fascinating journey through the intricate workings of the human brain, and discover how much of our mental activity transpires behind the veil of consciousness. In Incognito, The Secret Lives of the Brain, by David Eagleman, unravel the mysteries of the brain as it operates on autopilot, makes vital decisions, and constructs reality. Delve deep into complex brain disorders, and how understanding our cognitive limitations can have profound implications on our legal systems and social policies. Open your mind to the possibility that perhaps, we are indeed more than the sum of our neurons. The Power of Unconscious Mind Your conscious mind is not in control of your life as you think, the unconscious mind plays a significant role in decision-making. Neuroscience proves most of your brain activity stems from purely physical and biological processes of which you're unaware and which you are unable to influence. This lack of control can be advantageous in some aspects like decision-making, playing music, and playing sports. The Illusion of Reality Our brain constructs reality using a mix of signals from our senses, making what we perceive more of a hallucination than reality. This is why people with Anton syndrome hallucinate a visual reality despite being blind. Our brain gives meaning to squiggles of black on white, like the words in a book. The operations of our neurons happen subconsciously, making us unaware of the constant tiny eye movements our brain controls. The brain's warring subsystems. Our brain comprises several subsystems with different functions that often compete for control over our behavior. We have separate rational and emotional brain systems that are necessary for a normal life. Emotions may be swift and irrational, but they help us to quickly make the unimportant decisions needed in daily life. Understanding that there are several subsystems helps explain peculiar phenomena such as a person cursing at herself or a smoker who wishes to quit but keeps smoking because different parts of the brain are in conflict. Evolution and the Human Brain Evolution shapes our cognitive and taste preferences and guides our mating choices. Our cognitive functioning is largely determined by evolution. It sets the limits of our cognitive abilities and determines the range of tasks we excel at. Our ancestors' needs determine the range of our thought process. For instance, humans are terrible at mathematical computations as it was not needed for hunter-gatherers. On the other hand, we excel at social problem-solving like monitoring cheaters. Similarly, our taste preferences also depend on evolution. We find some foods tasty, which helped our ancestors in their survival. Our aversion to fecal matter is a result of its harmful microbes. Moreover, our mating choices are also guided by evolution. We tend to be attracted to humans and not other species as crossbreeding with other species is pointless. The human brain evolved in response to our ancestors' needs, and our thoughts and behavior reflect that. Evolution is an essential component in shaping our cognitive abilities, taste preferences, and even our mating choices. Rethinking Personal Responsibility The idea of personal responsibility in criminal acts is doubtful because of the lack of control humans have in their genetic and social upbringing. Instead of blaming and punishing criminals, the legal system must shift towards recognizing and addressing their struggles. Personalized rehabilitation should focus on changing behavior rather than the individual themselves. The traditional legal system is based on the belief that people have free will and can be held personally responsible for their actions. However, this assumption is flawed, given that humans have no control over their genetic heritage or socialization in life. Therefore, the notion of personal responsibility is questionable, especially when biological factors can compel individuals to act criminally. For instance, Charles Whitman turned from a loving husband to a mass murderer in a short time, and an autopsy found a tumor that pressed down on the amygdala, affecting emotional regulation. Hence, the focus of the legal system should shift from blaming and punishing criminals to recognizing and addressing their problems. Criminals should receive personalized rehabilitation that aims to change their behavior to something that is acceptable in society, while altering the underlying individual as little as possible. 
therefore, every criminal should be treated as if they had no choice in behaving the way they did. Understanding Human Behavior Through Neuroscience Neuroscience has provided a better understanding of human behavior, particularly subconscious actions. This knowledge can be used to improve social policies such as customization of the legal system or encouraging virtue in society. However, due to the complexity of the brain and its unique interactions with genes and the environment, it is unlikely for us to predict someone's behavior accurately. Additionally, looking at the physical parts of the brain may not be enough, as individuals are more than just the sum of their neurons. While neuroscience has its limits, it remains an essential tool in understanding human behavior. As we close the pages of Incognito, The Secret Lives of the Brain, we are left astounded by the remarkable complexities of our mental faculties and the unseen depths of our subconscious. Neuroscience sheds light on how our brain constantly constructs reality, unraveling the unexpected impacts of brain alterations and demonstrating the delicate interplay of the brain's various subsystems. Armed with this newfound appreciation of the intricacies of the human brain, we must re-evaluate our notions of free will, personal responsibility, and the fundamental nature of our legal and social systems. Let us take this wisdom to heart as we navigate our world, always striving to be holistically aware of the myriad influences and factors shaping our actions and choices.